We're here with John Fleming, the head basketball coach at Winchester. Everyone knows that Michael's got the points, gets the rebounds. What are some of the intangibles that may not show up that other people may not notice about his game? Sure. Uh, Michael obviously can score the basketball, but I think he moves the ball really well. He's at around four assists a game, um, and he sees the court in transition really well. Uh, I think he understands the game and is a really smart basketball player, has a high basketball IQ. As far as going to Hamilton, you know, wh how do you feel the impact he can make there right away? Yeah, I think, I think Michael's going to be able to step in and play and get some minutes, and I think he'll have a nice impact on their program. You know, I, I think they're a solid program, but for Michael to come in, I think he's going to be able to give them a little bit of boost and step right in. Going from five wins to 14 wins and counting, how much of that is Michael? Michael's a big part of that. Um, you know, he was able to, you know, we had a conversation towards the end of last year and trying to be able to right this ship. And um, to be able to put in the effort and time, he was going to lead us there. But we've had some guys really step up throughout the season to make us get over there. You know, we lost probably four or five close games last year that, you know, the record may not have really been a true indicator of us, but, um, you know, he's, he's a major part of it. Michael Grassi, a uh, star basketball player at Winchester High School. Certainly a big difference uh, this year to last year. When you look at it, where's the biggest difference your team has made? Um, I think cohesion-wise we're playing together a lot more. Um, and we've got one through 16 guys believing that we can win games, and, I mean, that's really helped. Um, you know, me and Coach Fleming really tried to make it a point this offseason to tell guys that we can be good if we put in the work and we believe in each other and that's what we've done this year. When did you start to realize, you know what, it's, it's, the talk is nice but you guys are starting to get it done on the court. When did you start to realize that, you know, this is not well, last we, year? We started out 0-3, so the first win we actually had an exclusion game against Somerville. Didn't count towards the 10, but we, had, we played really well as a team because we kind of felt like the pressure was off us just for that game. And we played loose, and we that win kind of generated, I think we went on like a five or six game winning streak after that. Um, and then we started getting rhythm. So I would say the turning point was that time of the game, which was a non-league exclusion game. But that's, I mean, we were believing the whole way through, but getting that win was huge. You're switching, uh, switching a bit. Football, the last season, was it, you know, you know, you know you're going to go to Hamilton and play basketball. Football, was it a little bittersweet toward the end, realizing that this is it? Uh, it was... It was a tough year, you know, we had, uh, with the whole Pat Gale thing going on, that it made it a really tough year, but I think we battled through, and, you know, it was bittersweet, I would say, but uh, I had a great year, I had a hell of a time playing with all my buddies. As far as Hamilton, what was it about Hamilton that sold you that? This kind of sense to their team that, you know, emphasizes team and emphasizes we're doing it for each other, and, you know, when I went and talked to the players and met with them, they all, you know, they welcomed me and I just it felt right like you go to a school and sometimes you might meet the players and it doesn't feel right but Hamilton definitely felt right. Last thing I was going to ask you going back to the football you know certainly with Pat Gill well, how did you find out? Uh, about Pat? Yeah. Uh, one of my buddies called me that morning at about 7 20 7 30 and then I went to the high school and uh, that's when we all kind of confirmed it but you know, I didn't even believe it for a while, but like once we were all here, you know, kind of sank in. Is it giving you a different sense of, you know, maybe growing up a little quicker than you'd like, Absolutely. knowing that? Absolutely. Um, you know, it kind of, it puts life in perspective in terms of you only have one, you know, opportunity for everything. and You know, it can be taken from you very easily. So um, I think it, it definitely inspired a lot of us to play for him. And I think that... We've played for him this winter, and we've represented him how he would want us to represent him. Great. We represent him just that way. Excellent. Thanks so much.